I think the important thing with Culture Vannon is it tells people what the organisation is about. Um, the Manx Heritage Foundation, which is what we've been since 1986, um, is and has has been rather a, a really important organisation. It has had a, a fantastic role, and we've seen this evening some of the, the, the wonderful work that that organisation does. Um, but the title Manx Heritage Foundation doesn't really tell people what we're about. We're, we're much more, or as much, uh, to do with contemporary culture as we are to do with the past these days. We've got an awful lot of work going on into encouraging people to find out more about the culture of the Isle of Man and to engage with it and to, I suppose, create a new identity for the people living in the Isle of Man. Um, so one of the things that we've supported recently, and there was um, a launch, uh, was the uh, book by um, uh, Usha Kishore, who's an Indian woman who's come to live in the Isle of Man. She's written a book of poetry, uh, and it's really interesting reading those poems and seeing uh, how somebody completely new to the Isle of Man is starting to understand about the culture and the conflicts of an, an incomer coming to live in the island. Uh, and, and that's one of many examples of the sorts of things that we're now doing. So it's not just about um, finding out what people used to do in the past, it's also about how people today are interacting with our culture and heritage. Yeah, there's a whole range of things that we do as an organisation. and uh, um, One of the first ones that I recall, of course, is, is the supporting of uh, Brian Stoll's role as uh, language uh, officer for the Department of Education. And uh, that role allowed the Department of Education to move into teaching Manx language as a peripatetic uh, subject. Uh, that was a really crucial role, and it was uh, partially supported by uh, the Manx Heritage Foundation. Similarly, with the, the beginning of the Bun School, we did some, a, a remarkably similar thing. Um, there's a, a, a range of new language apps that have been produced recently, which I think are really quite uh, remarkable. The fantastic work that uh, yourself and Chloe do in relation to Manx music. Uh, a whole range of new books have been created, uh, fiddle tunes, whistle tunes and the like. There are workshops that we organise. Um, these are really important things. The um, uh, Barul uh, Super group, the, the, um, the trio that uh, are performing Manx uh, uh, traditional music in a more contemporary sort of way across the whole of uh, British Isles and further afield. Uh, you know, the, the, there's a range of, of really good things we're doing. Um, wonderful work in relation to occasional support for, for the schools, uh, videos, uh, fantastic books on, on loads of, of really interesting topics which many people wouldn't get to find out about uh, if we weren't publishing these books. So, um, yeah, lots of really good stuff. It's, it's very easy for people to look back, and certainly in, in my, one of my former roles, <clears throat> um, a lot of people would say, when you go going to interview them about the, the past, they would say, well, if only you'd have been here 50 years ago, if you'd have recorded things then, uh, it would have been so much more interesting to you. So we're actually recording things now as an organisation. We're going around taking films and photographs, doing interviews of people about what's actually happening in the Isle of Man at the moment. So in 50 years' time, someone can, can actually say, well, actually, you don't need to go back 50 years because we've already got all that stuff. Uh, and it's really quite interesting. It's a good snapshot of where we are now, uh, and people in the future will be able to look back and perhaps better understand what was going on there today.